I'm Mike Newman. I'm the president and winemaker of the Newman State Winery. Generally speaking, every year we make anywhere from three to four wines. The year has been very hot and dry. Uh, that's typically what we want with grapes. They're nice, lush and green um, and, and very healthy. Whenever we get a lot of rain, we get really a big plump grape and that generally makes a very thin wine. Um, so, but this year, the, the heat, what it does is it makes a very concentrated grape with lots of flavor. Hopefully 2020 is going to be one of our better years. So right now, our, our rows run north to south. The sun rises in the east and goes across into the west. What it does is it maximizes the sun exposure on the vines. So that's very important. Also, uh, we're on a hill. Uh, mainly what that does is it, it runs the water off the field. The vine really struggles. It has a very deep root structure. It goes really deep into getting the water. So and then that kind of makes a higher quality grape. And then what we do is this stays every year. Um, every year then we take off two canes is what we do. They grow from the growth from the year before. So this cane right here and then this cane right here. This would have been a shoot from last year. And from this year's growth there's buds kind of coming up right here. So these will kind of grow up and these will kind of have shoots from the year before, from the next year. It's always two grape clusters per shoot kind of coming up. So all of this has grown this year and then it kind of goes leaves and then kind of two grape clusters across and then the shoot all the way up. So when we're harvesting, all of our grapes are down here. It's nice and easy. So when we're picking, we're just picking off the whole cluster like this is what we're doing. We're running up baskets up and down the row um, and then we're just dropping them in, in, in the basket and we're just doing this uh, a whole bunch of pickers kind of coming in and we're just going up and down each row. So it goes through this machine right here. We load it in through the hopper on the top. The stems kind of come out the side is what happens. The grapes fall to the bottom um, and then it just kind of grinds up. So next we would put it through the press which I actually don't have out right now. That, that separates the skin from the, the skin and the seed and then gives us our juice is what it does. So then we just have our straight juice. Um, and then from there, it's just a fermentation process. We just age it in some stainless steel tanks inside. Um, and that's, it's a, it's a relatively simple process is what it is. So today we're, we're running nets over the vines. The reason why we're running nets is to protect from birds. Uh, birds will eat grapes long before we harvest or we pick. We tie at the top. Um, and then we'll tie onto the bottom as well too to kind of lock them in. Not 100% effective, but it's, it's, it's quite effective. Uh, without the nets, we would pretty much lose all of our crop. Um, with our nets, we may lose maybe 10%. Uh, our production is quite small, so we only sell out of the winery right now. Um, we're very limited by the grapes that we grow, but we're getting kind of more and more crop every year, more harvest every year. So it's, uh, and especially this year, we have, a, we have a lot of crop this year. So we'll see. Um, the, the main wine that we make is actually Cidal, so this is the main grape that we grow um, and it's probably about 70% of our sales are probably this variety right here. It's a very popular wine for us. It's a, it's a light body white wine. Um, it's, a, it's kind of off dry is, is what it is um, and very kind of uh, nice and refreshing. Goes great with oysters, goes great with mussels, kind of uh, all kind of the local fish here as well too. Every, everything's grown here, everything's processed here. Um, it's a, kind of a big benefit of having a small operation like this is just uh, a lot of times when you transport grapes, you'd have to add a preservative to kind of transport it from one farm to another. But we're picking um, and then processing within an hour right away. So it just it's kind of a nice, clean, low preservative wine.